Having your friends over for a fun communal meal is the best. And what's even better is a meal where you don't have to cook a damn thing. Now, how is that possible without ordering out? You throw a Thai style barbecue hot pot night also known as mukata, which translates to pork skillet, and it's kind of like a Korean barbecue and Japanese shabu shabu all in one. During my last visit to Thailand, my family invited me for my first ever mukata, and it was glorious. They prepared an assortment of proteins and veggies, and it was so fun grilling the meat and dunking ingredients into this moat of steamy soup underneath. So I'm really excited to show you how to prepare this for yourself at home. First up, let's talk about the dipping sauces. Now, you could buy these pre-made Thai sauces in a bottle, but they're super easy to make on your own. My favorites are Nam Jim Jiao, which is perfect for any Thai barbecue, and Nam Jim Si Food. That's how it is in Thai. It's not the English translation, it's just Nam Jim Si Food. <laughs> for Nam Jim Jiao, combine lime juice, fish sauce, and sugar. Then add sliced shallots, cilantro, dried ground Thai chili, and toasted rice powder. Like most of Thai cuisine, there's that really nice balance of all the different flavors. So you got sour, salty, spicy, sweet, and you gotta play around with it depending on what your taste preferences are. You can add a little more spice, a little more sourness with lime juice, totally up to you. For Nam Jim seafood, throw a bunch of garlic into a mortar and pestle or food processor followed by a bunch of cilantro, the leaves, stem, and even the root. It's the most flavorful part. Fish sauce, lime juice, sugar, then mix in some chopped Thai chilies. You can add a little or a lot. Both of these sauces really hit all the spots on your tongue. I'm sorry, I apologize for my behavior. For the veggie platter, I've got an assortment of delicious, flavorful ingredients like assorted mushrooms, I've got some sliced shiitake, and some enoki. When these hit either the grill or the soup, they release this very deep, meaty flavor, so freaking good, along with some sliced Napa cabbage. This just makes it easier to pick up and cook. Some sliced up Chinese chives, you can also use scallions, Chinese broccoli, again use any other type of veggie you want, along with some cilantro for that herby freshness, and glass noodles for lovers of noobs. For the meat platter, I have some ribeye, pork belly, and pork jowl. That's the uh, meaty, fatty part here. If you notice, they all got a nice ratio of fat to meat, and that's because it's gonna make it super tender, either on the grill or in the soup. And they're also very thinly sliced. Now you could get them like this at the Asian market, or you can get a whole piece of meat, freeze it a little bit, and then go ahead and slice it yourself, and then arrange it in a platter just like this. Now the last platter is the seafood one. It's actually my favorite. I've got some clean squid, which I sliced into rings, fish balls, so yummy. I've got fish tofu squares here, and an assortment of fish balls, and some shrimp. I got them whole, and I just removed the skin, but left the head and the tail intact, and the head is just delicious to suck on, right? Right? You know what I'm talking about. This beauty right here is my cooking device. It's an electric version of a mukata. Now traditionally, they have the dome center plate just like this for grilling, and underneath, they heat it up with a lot of charcoal. Now this is the electric version, so I have some switches here and I can control the heat, and around it is a reservoir for the base of the soup. And all you have to do is add some hot water. You can add a flavored soup base if you want, but what I love about this is that it starts off plain and then as you add all the ingredients it just intensifies the flavor of the soup it is so bomb and for each person in your group give them a plate uh, a bowl with a spoon and divide the sauce into their own little individual bowls so that uh, we're not swapping spit you know I like to start off by adding the veggies to the water so you can start developing flavor those fish balls. The grill pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna start off with my favorite, some pork jowl. And to sanitize your chopsticks, just dip them for a few seconds in the hot water and keep cooking. So 
Sometimes people like to marinate the meat beforehand and then grill it, but I like it just plain because the sauces are so flavorful. My mouth is watering. I'm trying to keep drool in my mouth. <laughs> Let's try the seafood. Oh yeah, lots of chilies there. Mmm. It's so refreshing, the sauce paired with the seafood, excellent. If you don't know how to eat shrimp with the head, let me show you. You just twist off the body, hang on to this. Dip that in the seafood sauce. Mm. <laughs> also dip the head. Use your teeth to kind of grab everything into your mouth and suck at the same time. Heaven, heaven. Some soup with some of those veggies. We have a sip of this broth. It's been building up some flavor. <sighs> so comforting. I really hope you give this a try. Invite your friends over. Let them do the cooking for once. See you next time. Fish balls in my mouth. <sighs> too hot, too hot. Mm.